expectations for this movie were actually really high. Yeah, like, pretty high. Yeah. <laughs> like, seen the preview, it looked really good, yeah, and definitely. my uncle told me it was good, so... There you go. Right. right. Right? Yeah. Well, I saw Matthew McConaughey on The Ellen Show, mm -hmm. and number one, he's hot, and number two, Ellen said that she wanted to see a sequel of it, so obviously, it has to be good. Yeah. And yeah. William H. Macy is in this movie. Um, so great. Gonna be good. Alright, overall the cast for this movie was pretty amazing. It's true. Uh, first off with Matthew McConaughey. So hot. Um, yeah. Very hot. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of things that we really liked about his acting was very, very smart character, yeah. confident guy. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, he did his like normal, I'm suave, yeah. I'm pimp, you know, I'm really cool thing. Awesome. But then like, throughout the movie you got to see even more of his range. Yeah. You know, it wasn't just like, oh, you know, his normal I'm a good looking movie. guy that yeah. just kind of walks around and is good looking, but no, he was smart and awesome. Mm -hmm. And... Like, he played the emotional scenes right, yeah. and like, even when he was like kind of at a low point for the character like you could see the depth of the character yeah. and like really what that guy's been through and all that kind of stuff which was really cool yeah and yeah. he's hot it's true um, he's also <laughs> very sweaty a lot of the time yeah oh, he's the we, whole we were okay half. with it we were okay with that sweaty and in a muscle tee yes there you go done um <laughs> ryan Phillippe also did a really good job really great job very good acting you're always wondering is this guy, you know, what is he doing? Is right. he a good guy? Is he a bad guy? Yeah. You know, is he evil or is he not evil? Mm. Yeah, his motivations and his, like, intentions and, like, everything he does, you're, like... Questioning. Yeah. Yeah. Um, very good supporting actors in this, in this right. movie. Um, William H. Macy. The end. Yeah, the end. That's mm -hmm. all I'm saying. It's true. I'll go on a little more. <laughs> I think, like, the whole rest of the cast was amazing. Like, yeah. the... Girl Police, Angela and Bones was in it. Like, mm -hmm. who was that one dude? Robert, or what's his face? Cop. The cop. Yeah. Uh, so, like, <laughs> there's all these random people in this movie who are amazing. Uh, and you're amazing. like, how are they in here? Yeah. And so, like, no part went to waste. No, at and they all. were all, like, important roles. Yeah. They all did a very good acting job yes. for each part. It was just very well done. So there were, you know, several visual effects in this movie that, you know, added to the whole awesomeness of the movie. It's true. Um, they did have some shaky cameras at times. Mm -hmm. Not sure really what that was about. I was no. wondering if this was a wolf movie at first, but then it was, it was not. It was okay. Um, <laughs> they also did a really cool job whenever they did, like, reenactments of, mm -hmm. of things that happened in the past. Um, yeah. There was different lighting. Yeah, totally different look to the lighting. It was yeah. really, like... High key, high contrast, like like a little bit more blown out. Yeah. Like totally different looking, which was uh, really neat. Very neat. Mm -hmm. So the music in this movie was really cool. Yeah, it was awesome. Mm -hmm. The when it started in the beginning, it had this really funky, licious like yeah, like rap, random like, like music. Seventies vibe, <laughs> awesome, like I'm a hustler baby type of thing. Uh -huh. It was hysterical. Very nicely mm -hmm. done. The music just was awesome the whole way through. It's true. Um, they also added a lot of like suspenseful kind of tones whenever mm -hmm. he like in random parts throughout the movie that really added to the, the scary suspensefulness yes. of, you know, parts of it. Mm -hmm. It gave you, like, the right amount of, like, oh my gosh, what's gonna happen? Yeah. <laughs> and, like, brought you back down, like, it's okay now. <laughs> the script writing for this movie was very well done. So good. Um, are you sensing a pattern here? <laughs> Just wondering. Yeah. Um, basically, it was, you know, just well written. They had, you know, thought provoking times. Yeah. They added in a lot of suspense, kept people, you know, engaged. Mm -hmm. They also. Like, they didn't let the scenes go on too long. They yeah. just give you just enough information so you're, like, kind of hooked in. You're like, what's going to happen next? Yeah. And you're trying to piece it together, but it's not predictable in any way. No, like, not at all. Mm -hmm. You're left wondering, like we said Constantly earlier. Constantly guessing, questioning what's what's happening here, and then they're like on to that, and then all of a sudden they're on to the next piece of information mm -hmm. that keeps you guessing some more. And there's no like wasted piece of information. Like no. everything they tell you is totally important, like, important. and awesome. Mm -hmm. 
So in summary, what did we like about this movie? We liked a lot of stuff about this movie. <laughs> like, pretty much everything in it. Yeah. We liked the plot, we liked the characters, we liked the cast, we liked the setting, we liked the music, we liked everything. everything <laughs> pretty pretty much. much. Except... There was one thing that we were a little bit, you know, like, what? There was, like, a steamy scene in there. Yeah. Not really necessary. I mean, it was kind of like out of the blue. Like, let's mm -hmm. just add a steamy scene because yes, it is Matthew McConaughey, and you know he is hot. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that's pretty much our summary. Now we're gonna move to our overall rating mm -hmm. by using our, our meter of epicality. for Katie and Melissa's $5 Tuesday Meter of Epicality. We'll see you next Tuesday.